Hi guys, it's Anthony here at DIY Auto Tech. We're gonna be looking at how to test a relay today. And on the bench we have a 12 volt battery, two alligator clips, and a four pin relay. If you haven't seen the first video already, I suggest you go watch that on all the equipment that you would use to test your electronic components in your vehicle. It's gonna give you a basic understanding of how relays work, how alligator clips work, how the battery works, and all the other tools. We're gonna we start can... off with a four pin relay today, you guys. First step is to connect your alligator clips, the red to the positive cable, the black to the negative cable. And to test this, we're gonna start off with the click method. So with the click method, we're gonna be listening for the solenoid to click and to close the bridge gap. So we always start off with our powers and grounds. We're gonna power up at pin 86, so we'll connect it so you can see the readouts there. We'll connect this to pin 86. That if we hook up our pin 86 power and our pin 85 ground, that's gonna allow power from pin, let's see I can't read it, that's gonna allow the power waiting at pin 30 to cross the bridge to pin 87, and that's gonna allow the power to shoot through 87 and go out to the components. As you can see, when we complete the ground circuit from power to ground, from pin 86 to 85, we close the bridge between 30 and 87, and this allows power to flow from 87 to the circuit that it's trying to get to, or to the component that it's trying to get to. Now we can, this is an easy way to test if our relay is good. Another method is we're going to bring out our continuity checker and we're gonna see if we're getting power from one side to the other. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the continuity, which means we're gonna check to see if power is going from here to here. So let's do that. So I'm taking my positive cable and I'm going to pin 30. I'm taking my negative cable and I'm going to pin 87. This is for my multimeter. These are the pins from my multimeter. There's no continuity in the circuit. Power is not going from here to here because I have not grounded the relay. But once I ground the relay, listen what happens and look what happens on the screen. As you can see, we now have current going through the system and it's beeping kind of loud so we'll, we'll put it back to the ohm setting. So as you can see, now power is shooting through both sides and we're seeing a continuity reading which is showing how much resistance is in the circuit. The resistance I'm not too worried about at this moment in time, what I am showing you is that power will shoot through from 30 to 87 once this relay is energized. All right, you guys, that has been a quick segment today on how to test your relays in your vehicle. Please make sure to watch the other videos in this series as we go along on how to test fuses, batteries, amperage jaw, continuity, and so on. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and as always, this has been Anthony at DIY Auto Tech, and we will see you next time. Oh